Ninja. So we're seeing Dare and Greninja. Not Dare and Greninja, Dare and Sun. And we do see a Charizard. We're, we're poking now. Pokemon battle. We poking. Oh, uh, dude, I am so excited for Pocket Tournament. I am kind of excited too, yeah. Picking up game uh, a day one, hopefully. Uh, I'll bring it to Smash Club. Very good. Smash Club Did you it. know we're having a Pokemon tournament at the next Smash It Out at a Game Rich Nostalgia next weekend? We're having a really? day two Pokemon tournament. You should come by. Everyone watching, to. you should come by. Learn Pokemon. Play Smash. It's in Rochester. Rochester, New York. I don't have the little flyer that has the address. But the game is starting. So let's talk about the game. Fantastic. Bad well, field. numbers are counting down. That's a good start. Okay, so, here we go. In my mind, the Ninja wins this matchup, not just with type advantage, but um, <laughs> in Smash. <laughs> but definitely well. with type advantage. Charizard is a large character. Uh, can get comboed by Greninja. Exactly. Uh, Greninja. Very exploitable uh, recovery, even though he has that extra jump. And if you're watching the stream earlier when I played Sun, he knows how to get people with exploitable recoveries, using that water to his advantage very well. That's correct. That was embarrassing. It's kind of interesting how Charizard's down throw started as a uh, kill throw that killed around 150-ish uh, to become a combo throw. Mm -hmm. Made it a lot better. Oh, Charizard still has too many flaws to make him a true throw. Oh, oh, that's not a flaw, though. A oh. dare that spikes and a taunt. You know, I feel that was 100% deserved. And now this game is completely different. Greninja's going to have to try to make this up. He just did right there. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's the same game we started with, more or less. Right. 11%, uh, that's one hit from Charizard, so... I love the Charizard. Charizard's a favorite of mine. Uh, for a while, I didn't want to keep going to me, but I'm like, he's low tier. He's got some top tier skins, though. I love the colors on Charizard. They're just oh, yeah. the primary. They look so slick. Like, when you compare to most other Pokemon, like Lucario, most of his skins are, like, kind of washed out, kind of boring. They're all still kind of blue. Yeah. Charizard's just like, I'm purple now. I'm yellow now. I look great. I love Charizard's skins. I get all the favorite. I use the blue one just because it's, like, the most contrasting from his original. Mm hmm Oh, great skins. So that's the GIMP attempt we were talking about, but when Charizard's not actually up being it's not going to do too much. Right. Up there is a lead up right now. And having a lead with Charizard is much better than having a lead with Ninja because Charizard has a lot of high damage moves, although Sun's getting some great hits off. Dare is having a bit of a hard time getting down to the stage. Um, so one thing I'd like to see more from him is the Rock Smash, which of course has armor. Oh, that oh and bad flare blitz. Go get punished. Okay, makes it back. Good stuff. I want to see um, Sun try to like stage back him with like the back air. Mm -hmm. He might um, be able to get it off and uh, just get him. If he doesn't miss attack, he's done for. Just having a hard time beating these shurikens. Yeah, it's like sheep needles. Discount sheep needles. Kind of, yeah. And Sun really knows what he's doing, putting him at the right place, at the right time, right. making life hard for Dare. Grab a jab. He's going to take a couple more percent to get him into a very good kill percent because, like, even a smash attack probably won't kill him. Also, he's on the very edge. Although, that fair might help. Oh, okay. No. Okay. All right. I'm glad he didn't die from that, but it makes things more interesting. I'm not sure if that was, like, him throwing out and him just, like, making a bad decision or if he was, like, reading the role, expecting it. Up smash is not hit. Four smash definitely is not okay, hit. Okay, Dare's just throwing out smash attack. He's got to calm down. He has a chance at this, but not if he's playing crazy. He's getting overwhelmed, I can tell. But this is a fair hard match. Oh, up, up tilt. tilt. I didn't know that move came out so fast. We're learning today, boys. That's uh, game one against Greninja. Let's see what happens in game two. I know Sun has a Shulk, but I don't know if he wants to bring it out. Has a... A Shulk. A Shulk. Uh, outrange Charizard, but then you're playing someone like even slower than Charizard against Charizard. That might be yeah. tough. But the range is a big deal. And he's going to stick with the ninja. Honestly, uh, I'd probably do the same thing. I think Sun's thinking, you know what, there were some weird things in that. I fell for some dumb stuff, but I know I can win. Right. Let's see what happens. Game two, we're going to Town and City. Which means kills off to the top for Greninja, possibly for Charizard. This uh, might help. Um, Charge on boarding conditions because, uh, like we saw with that up tilt, it comes out really fast. Potentially a great out uh, shield option. Mm -hmm. And uh, Charizard's fly is a good kill move if you get a nice, like, air dodge read. Let's see uh, if we can switch the uh, stream layout, though, oh. to in game. 
That there is we go. Good suggestion. All right, so the score is correct. Commentators, all right, everything's correct. We're good now. Good up throw and up air conversion. Bread and butter of the ninja. Dare's kind of rolling all over the place. You tell that even though Dare won last game, he has a lot of um, nerves going on because, like, this is his tournament set. If he loses, he's just done for. Exactly, and he's doing it on stream, and he's got to listen to people talk about his gameplay like five feet away. That can really mess a player up. That's why music helps. Get some like nice metal going on. Because you're thinking, oh, you're right. Maybe I shouldn't stop doing this. But then you're thinking too much, and you got to remember that you're actually still playing. Right. That's my excuse for why I lost today, anyway. No Johns, man. Yeah, no, I, I have all the Johns. I shouldn't, but. Oh, that up throw. Oh, that throw, I guess, can kill. Which may be why I go for it. And Flare Blitz. Not sure if I agree with it, because he's not a kill percent. And, uh. What I do agree with is that F Smash, because it took the first suck. Oh, yeah. He's at a good percent right now, for a couple reasons. <laughs> uh, nice forward air. Good jab. I'm not very good at commentary. I apologize. To the no, you're doing. I think you're doing fine. For my first time commentating. I then you're doing, doing really first. good, really well. I'm proud of my ability to not uh, curse. Okay, gets the down air, but doesn't spike this time. Dare misses a crucial dare. Yeah. Oh, do you think that's where he got his tag from? From the move? Uh, I can see. I can see that. See a likes lot of um. I, I just saw a missed throw from uh, Oh, Sun. super That's smart. This is a very patient game. We both have a lot of patience are like keeping away from each other because mm -hmm. they know that one mistake can um really hurt them. Right. Charizard has a great punish game. And deservedly so. Because yeah. a lot of his stuff's coming out pretty slow otherwise. Sun misses a move, he's gonna get uh killed at this percent. Up throw will probably kill from uh, Charizard. But by the looks of it, uh, Charizard definitely has to up the battle, even if he takes the first stock, which she does right here. Oh, such a beautiful grab animation. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they, um, I forgot what his original up throw was in Brawl. But, um, I know they changed that for Smash 4. This is so really much more not, exciting. Good not to the anime. One of my favorite episodes is, um, when Ash faces, uh, against Blaine, the fire gym leader. Mm -hmm. Charizard for his Magmar. He does a seismic toss. Goes around the world. Oh! There's type advantage coming through, getting hit by those water swords, putting the flame out of his tail, and saying, This set's mine. So, uh, Sun wins that game much more handily than Dare wins the first game. So, if um, things go the way. Showing up. Yep. Am I up? What's going on? There's a lot of cables everywhere. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we're far enough back in losers that this is going to be a best of three and not a best of five. This is a best of three on like the winner's final. So, quarters. So that means he's next. So we're, we're seeing a potential switch from there. Does he have a pit? Is he going to pit? I wouldn't switch. He was doing okay. And then he uh, won the first game, so. That last game showed that. Um, Dare had to play really well to win the first game. Mm -hmm. The second game was a much um, worse loss in his favor, so a switch might be um, a good idea. I don't know who else he has. He has a dark pit. pit. <laughs> he wants to get dark pit. Oh, uh, see the cloud come out? Welcome to Cloud Town. So, Cloud has to be careful. Because um, at, we saw in the game against you uh, that... Um, Please don't bring that up. Please don't bring that game up. <laughs> we all saw what happened. We'll just say up special is a thing with Greninja. I was going to say earlier, though, if Dare is truly named after the down air, then he would love Cloud, and uh, maybe he does. Cloud's Dare is beautiful. If you uh, know the frames where it auto cancels, right. good shape. Well, knowing's half the battle, then you got to be able to do it. Which is something I'm still working on with my uh, cloud gameplay. That's right. FD. So game three on FD. So this would have been Dare's pick, right? Uh, yes. Hmm. I know that I personally don't like FD as cloud. I found he, find he has a kind of a hard time landing, unless you're really good at those dares. And uh, I pointed this out during uh, your match. Okay. Um, he can side B out of um, cloud side B, mm -hmm. which uh, you know less damage, less knockback, whatever. I assume you're just talking about the normal, not limit break. 
the normal one, yeah. yeah. Little Break, you're not going to be able to get out because uh, it happens too fast. Although, by the looks of it, uh, Sun's not doing as well here as he was before. Sun should have some matchup experience. You know, there are several clouds here in Rochester. Several clouds everywhere. There's two clouds on the mic right now. There's one cloud on the stream. Cloud's not even like my main main. I'm an Ike. Uh, I told a friend that, um, or told the person I'm going to be teaming with that next match is out uh, next week um, in Rochester at AGN. That um, he wants me on his team, uh, he wants a cloud player. And since uh, I do have a cloud, he's like my second main. My, Ike's my main main. Okay. First love. Yeah. Fight for your friends. Right. So I'm practicing Cloud, which is why I'm doing him like the whole tournament. Good stuff. Although I did have to go coin against Lycus because I was terrified of that team link. PGA, golf swing, coming through, not killing, just getting percent. Getting a little happy with forward smash. That move is super unsafe. It's got a huge range, it'll kill you early, but it's just out there for 10 years if you whiff. Right. And that gimp from the water shirt can put Greninja in the lead. I as feel he you, man. Already, though. He doesn't be careful, though. Uh, a couple hits, a couple up airs, he's done. Uh, a limit break, he's done. And you know, with Cloud, Cloud is a really good comeback factor. That he does, but I don't really, I haven't, have we seen Dare charge limit manually once? I saw him a little bit. He's gonna need to do that a little more if he wants to get that kind of comeback factor going on with a nice cross slash or finishing touch. Right. He's definitely playing Cloud as a secondary. You can kind of tell. Like most people, he has a Cloud. And uh, Sun's getting some nice conversions, uh, strings off. That neutral B is kind of laggier than a lot of people think. So if you shield the uh, shield it, you can pretty much come up, do whatever you want to the cloud afterwards. Right. It's a good move for people who don't, like, like if you're charging up and people are approaching you, you can throw it out because they really don't expect it often. Because, you know, you're charging, they don't know what you can do off a charge. Mm -hmm. I also and, like to uh, use it to clank with, like, shurikens or needles or whatever I can. Right. Uh, it's very good against, um, for example, I faced two zeros with Samus earlier. Uh -huh. uh, it goes right through the Paralyzer, which makes it a really good option um, against uh, zeros with Samus. Now, do you know if, if it goes through a fully charged Paralyzer? That might have different uh, transcendence properties. I think they, they just go right through each other, I think. Okay, okay. I could be know. wrong. Don't quote me on it. Zero's going to barely make it back. And get hit with the forward air, and Sun takes it 2-1. Okay. Good game. Sun's moving on. Living in this tournament. And I'll be facing Sun. What? I'm up. Okay.